It is. Bro, that whole handle is there. There it goes. Uh, let's go. Oh my <laughs> god. What's up guys and welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon and today we are going to have a full crew working on the hole from last week's episode. If you haven't watched it, please be sure to go back and check it out first as it has some amazing finds. But today trumps it all. We find some of the most amazing historical treasures that we've ever uncovered on this channel and we are beyond excited to share this video with you. So without any further ado, let's go jump in the hole and see what we can find. All right, the rain ran us off yesterday, but we're back at it today. My wife's not with us, but we still got Randy, Tristan, Clayton's on the way, and we got Austin down in the bottom of the hole. So when we were digging yesterday, we were digging over there. Now we're digging this way over here. And check it out. It's another Pratt City Indian hutch, but it is melted. I'm talking about, look at that. <laughs> that thing has seen better days. That's probably the most warped and melted hutch I've ever seen in my life. That's just a heartbreaker right there. But if there's two, there's more. And they were within, what, seven foot of each other, it looks like. Oh, yeah. That'd be. My original was, your... was there. The Indian was there. Hutch. And we pulled that one out Indian. of here. Indian. Indian. And about 10 straight side cokes. So. Cokes was all over here. Yeah, there was a bunch of cokes over there. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. Let's find another one today, guys. Like a well old machine. You'd think we'd done this a time or two. Well, all the work that you don't see normally when we're just finding bottles. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. All right, fingers crossed. He's Come got a jug down board. there. Let's see if that one says anything. No. Throw that slick down and get to that jug. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping that it's whole, but usually jugs fracture. Oh, this one looks good. Something. It is stenciled, they're saying. Oh, oh, it says liquor. That's a Bessemer Liquor Company. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. And it's whole, bro. Oh my God, you gotta be- You need something else yeah. to dig with. Yeah, grab my uh my pick, it's in my bag. Dude, if landing. the handle is there, my dad has that one and there's only a couple other ones. No, that's a very, very rare jug. Brother. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, you're done, Austin. You're done for the day. You just got compensated for your digging. Mm -hmm. Man, I hope. Hey, I've got a uh, screwdriver and a couple of picks down there too. <gasps> Dude, if this is whole, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Clayton's going to pee on himself yeah, when he gets here. He said he was man. getting a biscuit. Uh, Clayton said he was working on a research paper till midnight. Oh. There's another hutch top. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. The handle's there. That's the handle's wild. there. <laughs> Please be there in the back. I mean, I be hope. Be careful. Hey, I'll trade you all my RE Garner stuff for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll trade you Brandon's truck for that. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh, got the whole face there. Dude, it's whole, brother. Whole. I'm telling you. Is it whole? As long, telling, this is what he can see. It's whole. As long as the back's yeah, not bro. gone. Back. That's a one gallon. Whiskey. Yeah. Uh, I would say it's in the $300 to $350 range. Very, very nice sought after jug. There was never a dump found in Bessemer, Alabama. So the Bessemer, Alabama stuff is top notch, top quality collector stuff. He's gonna pee on himself. Dude, there's a hutch right here too, I think. <laughs> He's definitely done. You gotta get out of it. He's fixing to jump on your head. Okay. Big old man. Big old man. Slick. Wow. Yep, it is slick. Bro. Oh, I'm okay. so excited for you on this jug. Let's I'm do it. Spray the hole off. These mosquitoes are getting. Yeah, the mosquitoes are bad. Spray the mosquitoes with off. What, what happened to this? <laughs> that is sweet. Oh man, it's such an awesome thing to see coming out. <laughs> That'll probably be embossed. It is. Bro, that whole handle is there. There it goes. Uh, let's go. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> what is Look at that. that. Bessemer Liquor Company? Yep, Bessemer Liquor oh Company, Bessemer, God, Alabama. Man. Oh, man, look at that. Clayton's beautiful. gonna offer you his whole bank yeah. and sell his car to get that. Yeah. Just oh keep in mind, God. I've got R.E. Garner stuff I'll trade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm out. Do we need there's to watch the team? Oh. Dude, get the hutch out if it's down there. Is there a temperature or anything? Like that? Uh, with a jug, usually not. You should be okay. You can leave it right there in the dirt for a second. 
And if there's a hutch, get the hutch out. Let me just make sure. There's other glass in here and other pieces, but honestly, I'm... We got us a good pocket. Oh, I think God. I know which direction we're digging, Tristan. Holy cow, guys. You so it wasn't a hutch? Just get you something and let oh, me in no. there. Okay. Man, junk time, guys. I know I'm terrible at not always showing cleaned up items that we find, but Austin was nice enough to send us a couple pictures of the jug. So here it is in all its glory. It is an amazing piece without a doubt. Tristan's got a bottle showing down here. Trying to work it out from around all of the glass pieces. Straight side. Man, them things are... And things are all in here. It does have some good warp to it. But the embossing is weak on account of it all. That's actually kind of cool, Tristan, because you cannot see the circle slug at all around that eagle. So all you see is the eagle now. The way that it warped it. Got another one? Check out the eagle on the back of that. You see how it's, all you see is the eagle? Oh, wow. That's pretty neat. That one broken? Yeah. Another one of those? Another one? Yeah. Is that one whiskey glass worthy? No, afraid not. That was probably the hutch. That one feels like it was a bit a little bit taller. Lots of stuff in there. What we're running into is the ash layer is different here. There's not a metal layer to protect us. So undermining is a big no-no. The collapses happen faster. So we're just being a little bit smarter with how we're digging today. We do have roots that above us. Out. Oh, that just fell out. Melted coke. <laughs> Melted straight side coke. We're trying to decide whether the incinerator, if this was incinerator trash, uh, by just the sheer amount of warp bottles we're getting. Occasionally, we find a jug. Occasionally, we find a hutch. It, do it doesn't look like it's ever been in a fire, though. There's one of those cave-ins. <laughs> but these melted bottles are pretty cool, and they still display pretty cool. And they tell the story of how they were found and why they were where they were. This piece of plate just came out of the bottom. It's got a tiger on it. Looks like an ox. I don't know. It says on the back though. It says Crown China. Let's see if I can get it where I can see a little bit better. Maybe not. I don't know. That's cool though. I'm gonna take that home to my wife. If these other guys don't want it, she'll probably try to save the tiger and the ox for a mosaic piece or something like that in the future. It's a cool piece of glass, regardless of it being broke. Okay, never mind. I left that. There's a hutch stick out. Right it looks there. it looks awkward to me. It could be a tall. Please That's be an awkward. Indian for you. I want you to get an Indian. It looks somebody. awkward. Am I wrong or does that look awkward? It's awkward. Come on, T Dog. Let's see here. Just be whole whatever it is, right? Exactly. Oh, there it is. It's loose. There it is. It's shorter. It's, it's a crap. crap. No, it's camel. not. It's a camel. Oh, it's That's an aqua camel. Bro. Yeah. Extremely you got weird. a camel! Heck yeah! Woo. Take that. Hold it up. Yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, it oh, cracked. Got a big old crack. Oh, no. Dang. Oh. Those aqua camels are very Still. Tough, the embossed Maybe it'll strong. stay together. Yeah, yeah I think it'll stay together. On the shelf. Man. Oh, that's cool. That's your first camel, isn't it? No doubt. That's Heck yeah. Cool. I'm going to look at that embossed a little, little bit closer for everybody. You can see it says Camel Bottling Works, Birmingham, Alabama. It does have an embossed camel on there, so it's nice and pictorial. That's <laughs> awesome. Let's keep it going. Right front. What is that? Right nice right big collapse and a hutch. Man, we are on the hutches, guys. That's yeah, awesome. That is an Alabama there. bottling company. It's not a works, is it? No, it's going to go. My, my, is leg, it? my leg's stuck. This is, this oh, here. Like to get out of yep. here. Yep. Yeah. yep. I'm going to help you up. He had it stick on his yeah. leg a little bit. Here's my bad. I'm sitting on one of y'all. Anything on it? Nothing. Nope. You want me to shovel it out? Honestly, it's about to whatever. Or see it actually. There you go. Oh yeah, that would have been a pretty lid. Mm -hmm. Huh? Little handle's gone on it. Oh, is that a no? Dang. What that was looks like it? a mini, but I think it's the base of an ink that's broken. <laughs> Lots that's of stuff. The collapses are killing us though. Yeah. This stuff just is not holding up like a normal dump. There's not a good iron layer to steady everything up, and everything's like topsoil. So any little bit of undermining results in a huge collapse, which results in us having to dig for an hour before we can get back to the good layer. That's okay, though. We're not letting this keep us from finding some good stuff. Second marble of the day. The first one wasn't a Bennington, but this one is, and it is a beauty, guys. Look at that stunner. We'll take it. 
a couple rolls from the hole, neither one of them survived. As you can see, it's two different variants, two different types of glass. The one on the right, without the neck being sheared, would have survived. The one on the left was made from a cheaper grade of glass, obviously. And look at the amount of cracks that showed up in that thing as soon as it hit the air. It's whole, it's complete but it is flash crack. So whenever you hear us say flash crack, this is what we're talking about. It's a crack you can't feel, but you can see. He just got out of bottling company out. Yeah, the hole is literally caving in around us. That's something good showing. You reburied it. He's burying it down there where it won't ping on him. That's the one that has the eagle on it, like the hutch earlier. Keep it down there and keep it low. See the crack forming up here? We're watching, here it comes over your head, Tristan. Here it comes, there it comes. Might as well just assist it at that point. You buried your bottle again. We'll remember it's there. It caved all the way around. What an absolute insane day. I hope that y'all enjoyed this dig as much as we did. That Bessemer Liquor Company jug is definitely the find of the day, and I'm super happy that Austin got it being new to the hobby. I'm sure he'll be hooked for life without a doubt now. To put that jug into context on the rarity side, my dad dug one back in the early 1980s. Since then, he has never been able to find another one, even at an antique store, to be able to purchase it. That should put it in context. Blows our mind that we were able to find one. If you're new here, though, and you're not subscribed on YouTube or following on Facebook, please do so, and we'll catch you guys in our next video.